You know, as a dad, you, you, you hope and pray for a day like this. You really do. People are asking me, well, how do you feel? You know, are you happy, are you sad? Well, I'm melancholy. I mean, I'm honestly, I'm totally at peace because you hope your child grows up and can make great decisions. And the biggest decision is to pick your life partner. It honestly is. And, you know, you made a great decision. those of you who don't know me, I'm Morgan, Jill's BFF. For those who do know me, you're probably holding your breath, waiting for what I'm about to say in this speech. When I sat down and started thinking about what I wanted to say here tonight, I thought to myself, how do I sum up all these years of friendship and memories into a short speech? And you know what? I think I'm going to speak from here. Jill, I'm so lucky to call you my best friend. I may physically be taller, but I've always looked up to you. Ooh, you might get me. You are the brightest light in any room you walk into. And I'm sure everyone here can say the same and how lucky they are to have you in their life. Oh, my God. (laughs) I couldn't ask for a better person to share all of life's memories with. And tonight is another memory I will hold on to dearly as you begin this next adventure with Pat. Your turn. Patrick, Pat, Patty Cakes. <laughs> you came into today with a fiance, and you're leaving with the world's most beautiful, kind, loving, and selfless wife. Jill, you are equally as lucky as Pat, because when I went to buy you a wedding gift, there was nothing left. The registry was cleaned out, so congratulations. <laughs> But in all seriousness, Pat, today is about you and the love of your life, your Xbox. (laughs) Just kidding. (laughs) I couldn't ask for a better match for my best friend. You're so quick-witted, intelligent, thoughtful, and caring. You've made Jill happy in a way that I never could. Thank you for loving our favorite girl and always putting her first. I'm so lucky to have Jill as a forever best friend 
and now I'm getting another. Remember, we're a package deal. It is a truly an honor to be the Harry Potter to your Ron and Hermione. So much so, I actually got you guys a little gift. From the first moment I saw you two together, I knew this was something incredibly special. Destiny certainly brought you two together and I know you two will continue to bring out the best qualities in each other, challenge each other, and love each other unconditionally. You really are a match made in heaven. I'm so excited to watch the life you will build together. <laughs> Remember that marriage is not a noun, it's a verb. It's something you get, or it's not, it isn't something you get, it's something you do. It's the way you love your partner every day. As I close out this speech, Pat and Jill, please face each other. Look deep into the eyes of your new wife and your new husband. Feel the love between you. As you stare at the love of your life, just think about how you are staring into the eyes of the person who is now statistically most likely to kill you. <laughs> so, if you will all join me, let's all raise a glass to the most important people in the room, the bar staff. to Jill and Pat. Marriage in all cultures is considered to be a forever commitment. Patrick and Jill always treat each other with respect and remind each other often what brought you together today. Should frustration and difficulty assail your marriage, focus on what you admire about each other, why you fell in love, and how you can work together to overcome your difficulty. Take pride in solving life's challenges together.
Patrick, I love you for so many reasons, but here are just a few. You find humor in almost every situation. You are the best dog dad to Jack. You are my best friend in San Diego. <laughs> <laughs> and you always get the mail. Everything we've done over the past two years, like moving to a new city where we didn't know anyone and taking on huge house product projects together, I felt like I was always meant to do those things with you. You give me the confidence to embark on the next adventure or build the next hill. And I know we have so many more to come. I love you. You are my favorite coworker, my best friend in San Diego, and now my wife. These are my vows to you. I promise to support you. I promise to challenge you. I promise to stay open-minded. I promise to dance with you in the kitchen. I promise to keep you on your toes. And I promise to love you unconditionally. I vow to try and make you laugh and smile every day, or at least make that strange sound you make when you acknowledge that, I, that you heard a joke that I've made. <laughs> I vow to continue making up fun songs and dances with you about the things that go on in our daily life. I vow to cheer you on through big and small moments in our life so you never forget I'm your biggest fan. I vow to try and listen when you wake me up in the morning and immediately start talking about all of our plans for that day. I vow to always respect you and love you and Jack for the rest of my life. Good evening, everybody. You know, I'm just gonna take the spotlight. It's okay. Let's dance. All right, I'm just gonna walk and I'm gonna bounce. So, welcome to fatherhood. If you don't have kids, welcome. This is what it's like. All right, so I'm Pat's older brother, best man, Matt Shields. Not gonna do, trying to stay out of cliches as much as I possibly can, but this speech was actually very difficult for me to write. Don't know why, usually I can, you know, just talk for hours and you know my call sign is are you still talking so I could s just stand up here and just talk but how do you just portray someone who started as your mortal enemy and turned into one of my greatest friends that I've ever had okay so like it all started in May of 1992 he had been home for about three weeks Okay, pause. So, back to May of 1992, okay, where it all began. Pat had been home for about three weeks. We drove by the hospital that he came out of. I looked at my parents and said, yeah, he's good to go back now. Can you please take him? I, I know it's right there, just drop him off, we're good. I'm ready to go back to being an only child. Would have been a wonderful only child, but definitely would have made life probably a bit more boring. It only took about 25 years a three-week trip to South America, I finally got past that gut feeling I had as a toddler. <laughs> Maybe we didn't need to get rid of him. <laughs> I will say this, I'm super proud to call you my brother, super proud to call you an uncle to my kids, and couldn't be, I don't know, more excited to have you like as the friend that you are now um, from where we've been. All right, now to Jill. I can't remember the exact moment that we met but I do remember Pat called me after he'd met you at uh, Brian and Jamie's wedding. But he was talking about a girl that he met, and I was, okay, let's, let's see where this goes. So he sounded really excited, a little bit smitten at that point. But all you know that he has an incredible wit and incredible comedy. The guy is probably the fastest person in a conversation that I've ever met. He told me about the pickup line that he told Jill that only a very specific person would be into, okay? So she introduced herself, she introduced herself, and she said, hi, my name is Jill. And he goes, you know what, I can spell your name with one hand. And he just raised his left hand and goes, look, it's a J, an I, and an L, and an L. 
And for some reason, she called him back. Nobody knows why. But you, I mean, you were just a perfect fit with our, you know, our crazy clan that we got going on right now. We're adding to it, and I'm sure you guys will down the road. No pressure, just you will down the road. Uh, we're just really excited to have Jill the Thrill in our rambunctious crew. I'm just saying, we're ready for it. So my word of advice about marriage, and this is the only thing I'd pass, is actually something Ashley and I just recently discovered uh, at a marriage workshop with our church. And the pastor said something that was kind of significant to me, and I hope you guys take uh, something from it. And he said that men reflect the nature of the God they choose. Women reflect the nature of the men they choose. Okay? So remember that when life gets tough and emotions run high, that your partner's response is a reflection of your character in that moment. So be quick to forgive. Remember the commitment you made today and realize that... This entire group is here to help. All you need to do is ask. So we love you. We can't wait for the life that you guys are going about, about to build with each other. And we're looking forward to the future that you guys have. Swinging on the porch didn't feel like Sunday until I was swinging with you. Riding in my Ford didn't feel like money Till I was riding with you Could be something in your eyes Maybe something in that smile But I ain't never felt the way I do When I'm with you Trees seem greener, sun shines brighter Tea tastes sweeter and trouble seem lighter I could go on forever in a day or two Everything's better, everything's better with you Kissing on me, baby, all night long Dancing in the dirt with the crickets and the frogs Girl, I don't know what it is you do Everything's better with you You know, I look at the two of you And you are honestly, you know, just super in love And as a dad, I can't I can't ask for anything else. And, you know, Pat, I um, have to say, you, you, uh, <laughs> you, you climbed a hill. <laughs> now, in all seriousness, uh, Jill says, hey, Dad, I think you're going to like this guy. And I go, well, why? Well, well I said, well, you know, What's the big deal? Well, first of all, he's Catholic. And I said, he's Catholic? Well, that's, that's a good thing. And I said, uh, what else about him are you like? Well, he's smart. You know, he went to college. He got a degree. He went to Thunderbird. He's a smart guy. What else? Well, he, you know, he comes from a very nice family. You know? You know? <laughs> You know, very patriotic, military, supportive, very country-oriented. I said, oh, very nice. I said, well, what else? Well, he likes to drink beer. And I said, well, look, now you're working on it. That's a little better. I said, there's got to be something else. And she said, well, he played rugby. I said, he played rugby? I played rugby. I said, this guy's got a little chance. All kidding aside, the more we got to know Pat, the more we love Pat. And, uh, well, I'm just going to say, you know, we, Pam and I, think you couldn't have made a better decision. A everybody here, uh, you know, looks forward to your future together. Everybody here is here to support you. Um, if I could give you a little advice, and it's from Pam and I, um, always have fun each and every day. Each and every day, continue to do what you're doing. Um, I can see it in your eyes. Um, you guys have fun every day. Keep doing that. Uh, have a word. Our word is coffee. 
And when we say the word coffee, that means we need to talk about something. So if you need to make the coffee or have your own word, have your own word. But more importantly, if you're not drinking coffee, have a beer or have a glass of wine and remember to have fun every day. Maybe a tequila. <laughs> and so with that, we wish you the best and we love you both. So cheers. is my birthday buddy. We were born on the same day, but not the same year, obviously. So I'm going to give you a toast. May the rose rise up to meet you, and may the wind always be at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face, and the raindrops fall softly upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand.